Shane's crawdad thing. He's actually eating crawdad, so we got to go see him. I better go over there here right like now. Gary's probably where the fuck there. Oh, he's there. Probably where the hell is there, dude? Everybody's carrying beer, like it's everywhere. I know, but up away. This is actually easier to carry than anything. Don't take so, it If you drop it, it won't break. Right. Who wants to keep it the last pass? I tell you, man, I tell you what, they all what? come out, don't they? What about me? Don't tell no station. What? What station? I'm on. Crawdads. I'm the crawdad eating contest. What is that? Right here. I got. I'm late. I'm so late. when it start? Right now. Ten right minutes. Now we're late.
said, hey, baby, what you doing? I said, look at him, man. Come on, baby.
turn you out, baby, can't do it. Can't love me in another man, too. Look at here, honey, if you treat me right. Look at every morning, but look at night. Look at here, woman, if you ain't gonna do this. You got to get acquainted with my big fist. Come from the slip, go on tip, tip, tip. Trevor Jenkins on the lead guitar, would you give it up for him? Jim Rush on the bass. Andy Nog on the pots and pan, go hit us. Second 50 out there. If it's got an X through it, we haven't counted those. Don't throw that out there. Sadly, you not everybody has a bib, so don't they don't need to be alarmed if they don't have a bib because somebody took them last year. 
So, yeah. they call me so the not everybody's got a beard. Hey, just get messy. Just get messy. Yeah, the ones that don't have a beard. Yeah, so they have an X on them, and they just have them. We don't have a lot. If it's petty gloves, yeah. everybody I'm not, you just have, like, the mustard from it. Right, right. After 100. Mic check, one, two. Can everybody hear me? All right, yeah. <laughs> Front row can really hear me. How are we doing tonight? Everybody doing okay? At the Fulton Street Fair? I know it might be hard to see me. I'm not on stage. I'm Rosie Newberry from KOMU8. Is anyone a DirecTV customer here that is angry at KOMU? I have great news. They've just fixed it. As of 6.27 p.m., DirecTV, all fixed. You can go home and watch us now. It's the number one complaint I've been hearing for the last few weeks. All right, who's ready for Hit the Crick, the ugliest and yet most amazing contest I've possibly ever seen? Can we hear a round of applause for the contestants that are about to throw down on some really spicy crawdads? I am already impressed with these people for even having the guts to sit here. Of course, this is sponsored by Bex. Let's give Bex a great restaurant a round of applause. Gary seating next to me here. The winner of tonight's contest not only gets amazing bragging rights, follow through for an entire year, but you also get a $50 gift certificate to Bex. And of course, anybody who's unmarried will clearly have a woman by the end of tonight. So you'll be able to take her on a date there. Oh, no. or a man. We've got one lady who's throwing down. Let's give a round of applause for Cindy Tanner. Yeah, get it, Cindy. So I'm going to announce no. each contestant. I need you to give them an amazing round of applause just to get them kind of pumped up because this is a lot to literally bite off and chew. So let's hear it for Lance over here on the end. Lance clearly uh, pumping weights in his spare time, hopefully. <laughs> He's been working on that stomach muscle, and it's really going to serve him well. Oh, this guy's my favorite, this next one. Eric Merriman. Let's give him a round of applause. Yeah. Always the bridesmaid and never the bride. He has competed every single year that I've emceed this contest and has never even come close to winning. But we hope that it changes. I hope for you, Eric. Come on, Teddy. And right next to him, another Eric. Let's give it up for Eric Burks. I wish them the best with that. No, 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 actually, You're just going to no. sweep them under, under the rug? Is that the way that's going to go down? All right. This man, big man on campus, the BMOC. This is Doc Kreitzer, Callaway County Commissioner, who did not think that he was going to be eating in this contest about an hour ago. But he has, he has uh, agreed to sign up and do it. Does everybody have a bid? Not everyone has a bid. And it's... Two were stolen, apparently, so if you're going to get messy, just go for it. Just embrace it. All right, next to Doc, I have Jamie Hudson. Let's give him a round of applause. Sunglasses on like he's ready for business. I like that. Next to him, Brenner Harris. Let's give it up for Brenner. Let's do this, Brenner. All right, we've already applauded Cindy, but I think she deserves another round. Wow. Let's give it up for the only woman on the panel. I'm secretly hoping she holds down Fort. All right, next we have Brian Schlattman, who, if anyone remembers, not only had an amazing crew cheering for him last year, uh, but unseated the perennial champion, and he said he's back to make sure that he keeps his title. So let's wish him the best. I gotta make sure that I'm seeing all my contestants here. Next him, we have Curtis. Let's give it up for Curtis. It takes a lot of guts to stand up next to the man who won last year. I'm wishing you the best, Curtis. And I'm sorry, here's our guy on the end. This is Kyle. Give it up for Kyle, the last of the 10 contestants. All right, so all of these crawfish have been flown in from Louisiana. They have been boiled today in very hot spices to make everyone sweat on top of the summer heat that we already have going on. By the way, first official day of uh -oh. summer tomorrow morning. Uh -oh. right. Just so everybody knows. A little bit of atmospheric science fact in here. They're going to have exactly 10 minutes to stuff 
as many mud bugs into their faces as they can get. The trays come in trays of 50. So if you see a tray taken away, that contestant has likely consumed more than 50 crawdads. And they will be counted and clean bodies are what we need, people. Not on your body, but you have to clean the mud bug body. You have to make sure you eat all of the tail meat. Sucking the heads is optional. That comes up every single year. But if you're really gunning for glory, no head sucking. <laughs> all right, we're gonna get this thing underway. Is everyone ready? We're ready to see it go down. Are you ready to see some ugly mud bug eating? All right. On my mark. How do we do this thing? Get ready. Get set. Eat. Let's do it. How do we do this? All right. I'm already seeing some really impressive talent. Eric, going for it. Come on, Eric. Come on, Eric. Bridesmaid, Eric. Lance, going for it as well. You have to see quick hands, quick mouths. That's the way that we've got to go about this. And they're not just sweating from the humidity, even though mid-Missouri is kind of like that. These are very spicy crawfish. These are amazing. Oh. Doc, you can't be talking. Doc's trying to have a conversation. That is not the way to win. All right, I feel like I'm moving toward the winner's circle down here on the uh, end of the table. Cindy eating like a champion. Right next to Brian, who obviously is a champion. Curtis moving, moving, moving. All right, all right, you gotta stay up with it. Keep eating. We are one minute in. 155 crawfish. That was two years ago. We'll see. Half a flat down. Well done, Brian. Let's get Brian another round of applause. It's 10 minutes of straight eating. They're gonna get tired. We are two minutes in. One fifth of the way. Keep going, keep going. It looks like we're moving pretty quickly down on this end of the table. Has anybody tried to get away with not consuming all the tail meat yet? Anybody trying to cheat? Oh, looking good, looking good down here. Check one. Brian, I don't know who you're paying under the table, but your fan club is amazing. Oh, Brian's about to move to his second. Brian, not going down without a fight. Who is the first to switch to a second 10? Is it gonna be Brian? We have one on deck back here on the other end. Oh, Ellen Burns! So he is at least through 50, and that would be right about right. Okay, so we're already on to a second 10 as well for Brian. So we've got two contestants on a second 10. Eric Merriman about to go. Doc Kreitzer about to get a second 10. Oh my goodness. Starting to heat up a little bit, and I mean that literally and figuratively. All right, judges, how many people do we have on second 10s? Looks like four, maybe five. All right, guys, keep eating. Sydney, do it for the ladies. All right, Jamie, Jamie's on a second 10. Let's give him a round of applause. Keep moving, Jamie, keep moving. All right, we are only a few seconds away from four minutes. This thing is not even half done. Distend that belly. It's gonna have to be pretty amazing by the end of this. A note for anyone in the audience, Leftover is free for the taking once this contest is over. If you're wanting some spicy crawdad, it's gonna be yours. All right, moving, moving, moving. Jamie needed a little bit of refreshment right into the middle of his crawfish consumption. Yes, and he gets help from the audience with a brand new beer. All right, I love it. It's gonna get spicy, water does not help. It's just going to make it just a little bit spicier. <laughs> so, very important that these, these guys just kind of push through it, keep moving. Come on, Jamie! How are we doing down here? 
one looks good. I'm seeing tails clean to left, right, and center. A brand new train needed over here. And ladies and gentlemen, as of now, we are halfway through. Let's give her a round of applause.
seen them scramble for crawfish like this at the end. I've never seen this many go down. Let's give them another round of applause. These people are going to have their bellies hurting for the rest of tonight, and they earn it. As soon as we have, as soon as we have some official totals, I'll get back with you guys. Well done, crew. For everybody, one last round of applause. It's going to be controversial. I was one so. I couldn't get 165. We're going to have a need off. There ain't none up here. Hot dog. A couple doors down from Big Five. Come here, Rossi. I'm ready. Come on over, Rossi. Can you go back to the three count? No. We already know we're winning. Okay. Hey, dude. You got crawfish on my lens, man. <laughs> oh, dude, it was brilliant. I mean, they pay good money to make sure that looks right on real film. I don't know. Somebody said what it tastes like, but I don't know. Yeah, huh? I don't know. Like the litter box. <laughs> I can't feel my face. They smell really good. I got a couple of good pictures for you for sure. Sorry, dude. 65, that's the same thing he had. Yeah, they both did. Everybody did. They weren't expecting it. No, that's... What did Brian have? I got some meat left here if you'd like to eat it. I need a beer. I'm going home now. Okay, is everybody ready for the button drawing? Let's get our buttons out. Everybody got them? Okay, well, we're going to start this. to announce winners from Hit the Crick. One more time, let's just give all of our contestants a round of applause because they smashed previous records. So, believe it or not, this year we have a brand new champion. Please. 
please come up and claim your prize. We're gonna have you stand in front of a mystery box. Take your pick, whatever mystery box you want, and that's the prize you get. So I need number one, zero, nine, five. One zero nine five, one thousand and ninety five. Are you here? Check your buttons. It says so on the back. One zero nine five. If you are here, if that is your number, you are about to win something. Okay, we're gonna do one zero nine five going once. I have a little wave in the audience. One zero nine five going twice. We're moving to a new button. Grace, bring it on. All right, we have a brand new number. It's one, seven, seven, nine. Our forefathers were busy in this year. One, seven, seven, nine. Are you here? Would you like a prize? Please come to the front. Yeah! Hung in there, hung in there. We got one and she is excited. Oh, were you the last one? <laughs> we'll try. We'll try to call over the best numbers. Don't do right. it again. All right, so one seven seven nine, come here. That could be worse. Though. Always. Listen. 